Want the real scoop on cruising about the things that might be a little risque to discuss? I'm talking about getting busy on the balcony, what to know about those alcoholic drink packages, and even going topless or more on a cruise ship. Well, then buckle up because I'm diving into naughty tips and things to know about your next cruise. Let's start with perhaps the most important tip for anyone thinking of behaving badly on a cruise ship. Good God, do not do anything in public unless you want to be the next social media viral hit. It seems like almost weekly there is some video of passengers behaving badly on the cruise ship. These days, everyone has a video recorder in their pocket, and most people on the cruise ship even have internet access. So despite being hundreds of miles at sea, your bad moment can go around the world in an instant. Yes, what happens in international waters doesn't always stay in international waters. Whether it's a person urinating in a cabin hallway, someone catching a fish off of the side of the ship, or a fight that happens on board, these have all made headlines recently. Behave yourself and you have nothing to worry about. Do something you're not supposed to, however, and well, you might not ever live it down. Suppose there's a certain prescription pill that you've always wanted to try. Say it's one of those little blue pills, but you've always had the embarrassment or the cost of visiting a doctor, keeping you from getting it in the United States. Or maybe you already have a certain prescription, but the costs are astronomical. In that case, one tip is to know that most cruise ports in places like Mexico, they have pharmacies where you can get certain medicines for much cheaper or even without a prescription. That includes a lot of the medicines known for helping in the bedroom and many more. Now, I'm not suggesting that you go and take stuff that you aren't supposed to be taking. This is your health that we're talking about after all. But I will never forget being on an excursion in Cozumel, making small talk with someone I just met. She was very open and told me that she always came into port and stocked up on diet pills that she couldn't get back home. If you're a couple on a romantic vacation and you have a private balcony cabin with an amazing view, well, it doesn't take much imagination to think about what might happen next. And in case you are of that mindset, there are a few things that you should know. First off, there is a light switch for your balcony, usually somewhere near the door, but I'm telling you it can be hard to find. So if you walk out at night and the balcony light is on, there is a way to turn it off. Your neighbor's light, however, well, you can't do anything about that. As well, while it is a private balcony, there are typically spaces at the bottom of the dividers and there are sometimes gaps between the partitions on the sides. Plus, sometimes the glass wall that's on the balconies can reflect into the balcony next door, giving anyone an eyeful even if they aren't trying to see anything. So if you're going to do adult things on your balcony, I'd suggest waiting until after dark with the light turned off and try to keep that noise to a minimum while you have your fun. Let's say you want to go wild on your cruise. You want to let loose, stay up late, have the drinks flowing. You don't want a relaxing vacation. You want a party and you want the rest of the ship to be in that mood as well. In that case, the best tip is to head out on a short cruise. The shorter, the better, preferably from a spot like Miami. Let's just say that three day trips from Miami to the Caribbean will have a very different vibe than a seven day cruise from Seattle to Alaska. If you do want to go on a short cruise and relax, yes, that is possible. It's not like going to Vegas, but the atmosphere definitely is more focused on nonstop fun if you are looking for that. Now, most people are going to take a cruise with their significant other, but there are still plenty of people that travel single and, well, they might be looking for a hookup. Maybe you're one of them. If you are in that group, there are a couple of things to know. For one, the cruise line often has singles meetups on board. They aren't anything too formal, just a scheduled time and place listed in the ship's daily planner for anyone interested in mingling. If you are looking for single people to meet and hang out with, and maybe more, there's no better spot to get your feet wet. Of course, you can always meet someone at one of the bars on board, a shore excursion, or any other spot on the cruise. That said, if you do happen to hook up with somebody, 
Remember that it is a small world on a cruise ship. Say you do have a fling with someone that, well, you don't really want to see again. In that case, you'll definitely be looking over your shoulder the rest of your vacation. One tip about drinking ages, if you're under 21 or traveling with someone who is under 21. On the ship, you won't be able to drink if you're cruising from North America. The drinking age on board is 21 years old, just as it is in the US. Europe and Australia, it's actually only 18. But if you are 18, 19, or 20 years old and you want a beer or a cocktail, you aren't out of luck. That's because the drinking age in many countries that cruises visit is 18 years old. So if you go to the Bahamas or Mexico, you only need to be 18 to purchase and consume alcohol. That means you may not be able to buy a beer on the cruise ship, but you can simply walk off into port, head to the nearest bar and drink up. Let's talk about your tan or more accurately, your lack of tan lines on a cruise. If you're concerned about swimsuit options being too revealing, it's likely that they will be just fine. Thong swimsuits are perfectly fine on a cruise ship, and depending on where you cruise from, you'll likely see plenty of other people wearing them around the ship as well. Head on a cruise from Miami, for example, and they are widely worn. Sail from a place like Galveston, and they may be around, but in definitely much smaller numbers. Now, that's the bottom half. What about the top half? Well, it used to be that sunbathing topless at sea was actually a thing. Those days, however, are long gone, in most cases. So Carnival or Royal Caribbean or some other mass market line and no, you can't sunbathe without your top on. However, one cruise line actually does allow it. Virgin Voyages, which is adults only, actually does offer a spot to sunbathe sans your top. According to their website, quote, we have a beautiful sun deck on deck 17 called The Perch, where you can feel comfortable sunbathing topless at sea. Speaking of swimsuits, or the lack of them, what if you don't want any tan lines at all? Believe it or not, you can actually cruise nude. To be sure, these are not just normal cruises. So if you're booking a cruise, you don't have to worry about accidentally booking a trip, showing up on embarkation day, and finding out that everyone is in their birthday suit. Instead, some companies actually charter ships, meaning they book the entire cruise ship and then resell the rooms. Meanwhile, they have the power to revolve the cruise around the theme since they're booking the entire thing. There are charter cruises for a lot of different themes, usually revolving around music, but there are also trips that offer nude cruising. Specifically, a company called Bare Necessities offers a trip called the Big Nude Boat. The next cruise is aboard Carnival Pride in February, sailing from Tampa to Mexico and Honduras. On board, outside of a few spots like the dining room, Clothing is completely optional. Now let's talk about drink packages and let's be real. Are they worth it? The generic answer I usually give is that it depends. You'll want to do the math based on how much you drink normally versus the cost of the package. Keep in mind that some days you will be out in port and not able to use that package. The real answer though, are you the sort of person who isn't on vacation unless you have a drink in your hand? Then it's worth it. If having three or four drinks a night is just a typical day for you, then yes, you will get your money's worth. But if you can only drink heavily for a couple of days before you need a break, then you're likely not going to come out ahead on the cost of the drink package. Put it another way, if the idea of an all you can drink drink package gets you excited, then yes, it's likely you're the sort of person that's going to come out ahead. One thing you should know is that overall, your cruise is going to be safe, but with millions traveling on cruise ships every year, yes, incidents do happen. That's why it pays to keep your wits about you. It seems like every few months you hear awful incidents of people falling or jumping overboard on a ship. Often, this seems to happen in the middle of the night, and unfortunately, many of these folks don't make it. That's uncommon, but it does happen. But crime can also occur on the ship, though it is pretty rare. The FBI and the Department of Transportation, they keep tabs on cases of major crimes on ships. By far, the most reported crime is sexual assault, albeit at a rate about one third what's seen on land. Still, in 2022, there were dozens of cases of sexual assault reported on cruise lines. 
Given the massive amount of cruise passengers each year, it's in the millions. The chances of you being a victim are pretty low. Still, it doesn't hurt to be aware of your surroundings and make smart decisions. This is one that I've mentioned in another video before, but it's a tip you'll definitely want to hear. You're on vacation, and maybe to celebrate with your significant other, you bring an outfit for the bedroom. Or maybe you bring a toy to spice things up. Or maybe there's some alcohol that you brought on board that you shouldn't have. No matter what it is, be sure to put it away before you leave the cabin. While your cabin is your own private space, it will be visited by the room steward during the day. So you may leave something out, go out to the pool, and the room steward comes by to clean the cabin. Let's just say that if you have something out that you didn't want them to see, it might make for some awkward moments the next time that you bump into them on the ship, and you will bump into them on the ship. If it's something dangerous or illegal, it's likely going to be reported. If you cruise, then one big draw in the evening is going to that casino. Every ship will have one, and when the ship is at sea, especially later in the evening, it's going to be hopping. Cruise casinos are unique, however, and there are things that you should know before you play. First, casinos are usually only open when the ship is in international waters. So if you're expecting to play the moment that you step on board, think again. They also offer all of the games that you'd expect, including slots, blackjack, craps, and roulette. But they also have some games you don't usually see on land. This includes the claw games, but instead of stuffed animals, there are stacks of cash to be won. Then there are the key games, but you win money instead of electronics. And just know that while these games might seem like skill, they do have luck involved. For instance, skill cranes can be set to only allow enough force to grip an object occasionally. Other times, the grippers just slide right off. Finally, if you want to cash out, some cruise lines make it harder than others. For instance, if you're playing a machine on Carnival and hit cash out, but don't have your key card inserted into the machine to track your play, then you have to be hand paid. If you do have the card in, the money, it goes onto your card, and then you have to go to the cashier to get your actual cash. Compared to the typical cash out vouchers that you're likely used to, I actually think it's a pretty big pain. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something even if it was a little bit naughty. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and you can always find more tips on cruising at cruisely.com or the other videos on this YouTube channel. And until next time, happy sailing.